Greetings everyone, and Great here with another Comfy Rose 2 replay straight from the live games lobby. So on bottom or top right side as the blue Soviets with Draconic. So on bottom left side as the red Soviets with Ackerman. Which I wonder if that's related to a rather three for a name like that. But it looks like I got a conscript opener versus a Volkstrandir. So we have a Doctor Lock-in of the Overwatch Doctrine, so he does have access to Jaeger Light Infantry. Or okay, eventually will. So he may want to eye for a fast battle group HQ so he can get out some Jaeger Light Infantry. He's definitely want to get out some Jaeger Light Infantry if he does have the Jaeger Light Infantry Bulletin. We do also have the Volksgrenier Receive. <gasps> Excuse me, Less Suppression Bulletin. In fact, that we also see Ready for Another Round Bulletin. He's definitely going to be eyeing for the battle group HQ. At least first. Doesn't mean he won't go for the mechanized HQ second. But probably uh, share Panzer quarters. Either way, the Soviet player could eye for the guard motor coordination tactics, a staple. The armor assault tactics, he wants the IS-2. Or he can go for Soviet industry because the KV-2 is quite nice as well. Some pioneers advanced along the flank, a very good position there. Combat engineers did lay down a bit of cuff of wire there. But of course, his opponent will flank. Uvok can push way forward. Whoops, as my camera went a little bit crazy. He does knock on the combat engineers a little bit, destroys the wire there, prevents the capture of the fuel sector. Still, pioneers advance way forward. And there you go, the point has been decaptured. He's going to quickly tap some wrenches on the head and grab. He could abandon the sector, let it revert back naturally, so it'll take a bit of time for that to uh, revert back. And now we've got the double conscript squad overrunning the Volkskandirs. The easy victory for the conscripts. We've got a fourth conscript squad on the build queue. We've only got two Volkskandirs. This Volkskandirs may want to be a little bit more defensive. He knows fighting against a good number of conscripts, though... Actually, he may have seen some there, got a casualty. He may have realized uh, one squad fell back. Hops inside the building to get on to the heavy cover quickly. Heavy cover is better than uh, garrison cover. And now I've got the Kuvagan push way forward. Will flank hit this wounded conscript squad. So he, the Kuvagan should be able to win that fight. Some pioneers is trying to decapture this sector. It is not a cutoff sector. Conscripts take some damage there. Conscripts falling back. The Volkskinders could advance to some heavy cover there. They will advance. Conscripts do the Kuvagan does drop and fire there, so the Volkskinders will advance a bit more safely. And so he has a good defensive position there. Conscripts taking a severe amount of damage there. Sheer Pants Quarter. Not Sheer Pants Quarters. We've got the Battle Group HQ being the in the field. When that gets completed, he should have enough. Uh, experience for one command point to get out some Jaeger Light Infantry. On scripts and conversioners moving around. Pushing forward, cover to cover, very good. But now he sees all that stuff there. Takes a pretty good volley there. Taking a lot of free shots. Flamethrowers push way forward. He does take a little bit of a singe. He needs to focus on that Combatineers. I'm not sure what this Volkswagen is focusing. He's trying to hit the Combatineers. Very good. He does back out a heavy cover there for the uh, bonus damage. But he's taking some splash damage from the Flamethrowers. It's a pretty stacked up. He does fall back there. Perhaps merging the Combatineers. Just get him additional man from the Flamethrower. In the Kovog is trying to capture this munition sector. does have one command point, so we can bring, bring in some Jaeger Light Infantry. I have a bias towards Jaeger Light Infantry. I also do have a bias towards MG34s. I generally, personally, I don't like the flat half track. Eagle Owl is, of course, very situational. Flag's always pretty nice to have, though. But that's totally me thing, not liking the flat half track. Pioneer kit. They may just. They're trying to decapture that point. It is a cutoff sector. He's going to charge forward. He does get cutoff sector, but he does need to fall back sooner or later. He's taking severe damage. So is the conscript. 
He won't get the wipe there. He will probably skip out of there. He may drop one model at most. Jaeger Lightning Tree now pulling the field with a G43 equipped. And we do have a Soviet landmine here. No minesweeper, I believe, on the Sturm Pioneers. At least not one to pull down the field. Jaeger Lightning Tree advancing way forward to get a first strike capability. Molotov got a good attack there. Good singe. Landmine exists. Has not been tripped just yet. The Conscript Squad will fall back in time. This Conscript Squad report to this VP. Right now, the Soviet player has every single VP uh, ticket in his reserve, I guess. The best way to put that. I don't know how to put that. And the Oakley players are needing to make a move on this VP here. Finds the landmine with the Jaeger Light Infantry. That's why the worst squad to hit it. Best squad to hit it would have been this guy here. He's already pretty wounded. And thus, having him drop a couple models was likely going to happen in the next conflict. Squad, ready to move. Heavy machine gun ready for action. He has medics. He has an MG34. The MG34, a couple good places to, let it, uh, to plant it. Let it grow. Spread its roots. <clears throat> we do have another he has enough manpower for another Jaeger light infantry I don't think that would be a half bad idea at the moment he's not fighting against any support weapons so he does not need a lag so the player is going for tier uh, 3 now AT grenade connects to the pig wagon so at this point in time, it's probably a good idea to start eyeing for a Vikander Warfare because you should always have an AT gun on the field. Not super early, but something reasonably early because your P70s are very good. As well as Stewart's. As well as Looks. Molotov has been thrown. He does suppress the Conscript Squad. P34 takes some fire. And Shroom Pioneer is trying to hold out, but they can't utilize the heavy cover there. A little bit too hot for them. Oh, good stun grenade there. I heard the grenade sound effect or call out. And the MG and the stun grenade does pin down two squads, and the other squad getting suppressed by the MG. Conscripts and Volkswagen is now engaging. They're decorated right on top of each other. He does have very. He has two members. Going back now. Oh no, the decorator was just way down here. That squad was spread out. <laughs> what happened there? I was like, wait, no, that shouldn't. I couldn't see the other model, so I was like wondering. Wait, now it's the one guy there. So where is the decorator? But nope, they're just very, very far away. Mega Lion Chicken is good damage there. Seeing some fire. Literally, and only one guy is getting hit there. He's not in any sort of cover, so the flamethrower does not do any additional work there. And now the Vacan Warfare now on the build queue, as well as a flat half track. He's me now on the field already. Infantry squad does fall back, and so does the uh, Volkswagen gears. We're gonna work for now to pull on the field. Black calf track as well. Uvagen now fully repaired. Squad back to full strength. Yeah, I don't see any landmines in this region. I don't see any landmines on the field. But that's just a brief skim. Wagen, both, and the flat cap trick does find the T-70 AT grenade connects to Kuvagen. He really wants the Kuvagen dead. Kuvagen does go down. T-70 getting some shots there. The Penworth is sitting on up, and the T-70 does fall back in time. Quite possible, yeah. It was a bit of a delayed uh, flat half track. 
So his ability to exert fuel control is or was already a diminished unit compared to other units such as the Sunday. And it definitely did came out a little bit too late. We do now have the Yagalang Street sprints behind the tractor. The scope rifle does have poor accuracy of close range rather than long range. But still the accuracy is decent. Hansko Squad does fall back. I hear the M234 suppressing the combat engineers. He suddenly does avoid that shot, but would not have killed him if he did receive a hit. Got a landmine here. MG34 advanced way forward. Finds a landmine. And the sandbags do get destroyed by the gun warfare. Very nice. But the Volkswagen still take some damage because conscripts do have rifles. Conscript squad to break forward. And right now the MG34 takes severe damage. He's trying to Ura onto it to get the wipe. He's going to continue to pursue it. Stun grenade does miss. Does take out the MG34. He's going to try to capture it on up. Bouncer squad throws an AT grenade. Does he watch the Kubo and see if he scavenged it? Oh, it's right there. I'll keep an eye on it. But I don't think I can put it into a control group to quickly find it. Actually, no. You can put the carcass into a control group. <laughs> I did not know that. MG34 does go down. Kovagin taking some damage. He's trying to push forward with the flag half track. A little bit dangerous, though the T-70 is not nearby, nor is there a system on the field. Vigalang Tree is sprinting the way forward, trying to pick up the MG34. And the Conjurers do pick it up in time. And the Vigalang Tree squad does fall back. The Maxim has to suppress the fire mode or sustain fire mode. Uh, nope. I did not find the Kubovog into a control group. Control one. That was not so hard, comrade. Hooper. Combat unit ready. So double tapping one pulls the unit that I'm currently selected on. Weird. And double tapping two. Weird. Oh, we do have repair stations, so the Soviet player is trying to get a bit of repairs going. Franska squad does get suppressed there. He sent me push way forward, got double the camera for sitting on up. Does force fire the ground there, very nice. And looks he did force fire the ground in turn and got a hit. And that was a really bad move there. I think one was force fire ground, but the other one was definitely an auto attack. He should have backed up straight away, not downwards, because that would definitely put him arc. So he sort of threw away the T-70. Volkswagen is pushed way forward. They have not salvaged the carcass. Giga Line 3 are not salvaged the carcass here either. Though some heavy cover, there's not a bad spot for it. E-43 is now being deployed out by this fresh Jaeger Line 3. Yep, and combat engineers do have some decent rifles to go along with it. Conscripts do also have a larger target size, it's something slightly uh, greater than one. This gun does get a good shot there on the flat half track. Throws some smoke there, unless he does back on off. The new grenade has been thrown, though the Volkswagen Deers could push forward, perhaps that light cover there. Another Molotov there, does get singed up a little bit. They're going to push forward, there's only two members remaining on this conscript squad. Over here we do have the conscripts behind some heavy cover there. There's no longer behind heavy cover. And I got this conscript squad and flamethrower push way forward. Isolated sector. 
does get this point decapture, but it's not a cutoff sector. Both those wounded Volks do fall back. We do see the Shiro transporters deployed. Pants off the station has not been researched. So that'll effectively get him 60 fuel. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, 60, 70 fuel remaining. In which, by the time that it does research pretty quickly, so it doesn't have to go for immediate. But getting it to research now with Rise of Gun is a one step closer to the Panzer IV. Which I'm assuming this one's going for. Oh, there's a flare mine there. Very nice. He has not. Oh, he had the mine super capable. It's now not currently out on the field, so he could have easily spotted that. Black half track is falling back. Yeager infantry could advance forward. There's some cover he can stick into if he wants to uh, maintain camouflage. So that max in there will cause some issues. Conscripts overrunning the Jaeger line trees. Burns away behind some heavy cover there. Very good. This one does get the first strike bonus as well. And though Psych overall, he's not focus firing. He should focus firing single squad, force back one squad quicker. And we've got the Volks pushing right forward. Another Molotov throw. That does burn that one up quite a bit. Yeah, guy of three pushes back to the heavy cover there. Let's see a grenade on the conscripts. This barrage raining on him gets an excellent hit there on the Yeagle infantry. And this two man squad remaining spot need to fall back with it as well. It does fall back there. Half track, but just see one is 130 fuel. Hands off station has been well authorized. And just needs another small amount of fuel as well as a bit more manpower in order to get a Panzer IV going. So the player does have 150 fuel. He has here for fully built appears to be. And upon seeing the Panzer IV, maybe got an idea to go for S285. So he may save for the uh, for the KV2. Throw our game bit damage there on the Yega Light Infantry. And now got for the Fatherland active. Doing a good job, folks firing. I hear MG34 now firing away. He's in light cover, so he does not gain suppression resistance. Does crawl behind that a bit of heavy cover there. With heavy cover, he does have better suppression resistance or recovery. Great shot there from the lag. And now the Panzer Four is on the build queue. Molotov's been thrown. And the Yeager Infantry Squad doesn't need to fall back. Black half track engaging the Volk Scrim here. Or, nope, he's gains the maximum. That was a nice flank there. The Maxim will probably not get wiped out. But might. He does get the wipe there. He can grab himself a Maxim. And he does pick himself a Maxim. Does fall back immediately, of course. The Maxim could soft retreat around this direction for a better retreat path. He does not. So he may get wiped on out. It looks he does escape on out of there. Moment. 
has four now fully complete. Looks like he's seeing up the KV2. He has enough manpower, just need a little bit more fuel, about less than a minute's worth. Bit of splash there. We do now the AT gun setting on up. Does get a good pen there onto the Panzer IV. Conscripts behind a bit of light cover and heavy cover. Does have some of the seven man squads going. Both centers do fall back. Two Eagle Entry is still here behind heavy cover and light cover. It looks like he's not focused firing with the Jaeger Lime Tree, so a bit of oversight. KV2 now pulled on the field as well. Hands 4 almost fully repaired. Once we've seen a bit of fire there, KV2 advancing. Let's see where he hits. That's a pretty good hit there on the Yegala Infantry. They wound all of them. Conscripts are straight forward. Bit of splash damage there onto the capture Maxim. Is this gun getting decent barrage there onto the Bacanda Warpers? Screen here is pushing along the flank. Of course, got the Maxim here, quite wounded. We do now have a recon of the flight. Very nice. I do like that ability. Jaeger line tree. Oh, no, the flat cap track. Flat cap track made short work of it, work of it, and does destroy it. Mine super is out, so it does. Oh, of course, that's his own land mine, so it does not get spotted there. Drop the panda truck there. Can work for straight forward. Has hold fire turned on. The cannon work for number one does go down. Great hit on the folks trying to deers. They do fall back now. The cannon work for some shots. Does get a pen there. Hands four force on the ground. Game bit of splash. Eagle Lime Tree gets annihilated. And does the Eagle Lime Tree squad does need fall back. Possibly. Good hit there. Good shot there onto the conscripts. Hands for backing on off. Those conscripts are quite wounded, so one more push shot from the pencil could wipe them out. Down south, got the MG getting wiped. Great hit there on the Panzer IV. He does need to fall back, which he is. Does force back those bolts in here. Still take a pretty good hit there. He has a bit of fuel, bit of manpower. Maybe a good idea to go for the Yag Panzer. He is going to be eyeing for the mechanized HQ. So we maybe I just get the King Tiger out. I think the Yag Panzer would be pretty good. Help do the KV2. So he does need a little more anti infantry. So maybe another Panzer 4 would be good. from the combat engineers. After Pantrek, rolls a miss there. 
He does not find that landmine. Good hit there onto the Panzer IV. T-34 ready for combat. Now we've got a fresh T-34. Before the teeth for just idle back here. Perhaps in the rear armor, Puma can do something. I think a Puma would be a bit more decent if he gets the aim shot ability, but even then, yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Right hit down the image of Captured Maxim. Camera for Camouflage Region. Obasatsun deployed on the field. Now got a bundle grenade there. Which does great, get some good damage here. Oaks also does avoid that shot, and there goes the conscript squad. And Oaks also squad does fall back. They'll have to maintain that unit there. He's already has the point capture in his favor. Also, the carcass has still not been salvaged. Shot there on the Panzer IV, the capture Panzer. Great hit there on the Fakad Worker. Great hit in the Volks Grandiers. And now the Punishers who fall back as well. Good shot there in the Jaeger Life Tree, splashing them quite a bit. And for a larger roll to miss there. He smashed a little bit by the flat cap track. The Maxim does take a pretty sizable bit there, and the heavy carcass has been crushed, or not heavy carcass, heavy cover. Now we got Recono flight being pulled on the field. The flat cap is still alive, so probably gets shot down pretty quickly. Aircraft does get shot down, the Opson squad does fall back. There's splash damage on the Cometeers. Good hit there onto the leg. Oh, here you now the forces pulling back. You have to keep two push way forward. Your orders, comrade. And bags being built there. KV2, can you repair it on up? Life on the field, and it gets a good hit there. Conscripts behind some heavy cover. Get a good hit there. Can it roll some pounds? Oh, try to go for ram there. But bugged out. Must got out of range. Gets picked off there. Cave or pants four falling back. Gets a pen there on the AV2. And now I got the kind of falling back. It does have efficiency two. It's a pretty good shot there. Do in fact have a Goliath in the field in the ambush position. I'm sure to fall back. It was the Rohirrim may take a hit there. They do not. The Eagle Eye Infantry did, however. Another recon non in the field. Force on the ground there, takes out a couple of the medics as well as actually the entire Oaks squad. 
And if Kenworthford does avoid death there, one well placed shot will take him out. Aircraft has been shot down. Bounce there. Annihilates the Shroom Pioneers. Now he's going for a Panther. I disagree with the Panther. I think a Yag Panzer would have been much better. Has four rolls in this there. He does have the Mechan uh, Repair HQ. He does have the Repair upgrade on the Mechanized HQ. So it's not completely dead in the water for repairs. Oh, so you're some damage. Here comes the Goliath. Does force back the Conscript Squad. It'll be a little bit difficult to hit something. He's getting plinked down by the Zisk Gun crew. Does get gunned down by the Zisk Gun crew. Air Warfare is also forced from the ground. There's nothing there. Air Warfare 4 does take a nasty hit there. He does fall back now. One more play shot and the Air Warfare is down. Bounce there. And there goes the Air Warfare. He is supposed to sweep forward. Panther is advancing. He does take a couple of good hits there. He has two uh, AT guns here. Came through face through the hands of four. Decent bounce there. Hands of four goes down, gets abandoned. Yep. Cause goes straight forward. AT grenade number one and two does come forward. AT grenade three comes forward. AB2 does go down. There's a bit of loss there. Uh, his AT gun's not rotating around to engage it. Now the Panther goes down. And the Okadoo player does back the game now. Sam Gray saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.